We open Bellator 31 with the Bellator Special Feature Fight. At the catch weight of 165 pounds, Scott Stapp versus Michael Chandler. Michael Chandler, a young prospect who showed a lot of potential in this fight. Good right hands, excellent ground and pound. But what I like are his finishing instincts. He didn't go crazy, he was efficient, and he went for the stoppage once he sensed it. A young guy to keep your eye on later on in Bellator. Beautiful job by Michael Chandler. Next up, a Bellator welterweight tournament qualifier, Chris Lozano versus Yoshiuki Yoshida. This fight all about the striking of Chris Lozano. You see the unorthodox spinning elbow, but it was his hands that were so impressive. Good lefts, good rights, and heavy handed. Every shot he threw was intended to do damage. You see here, knocking Yoshida down in the first round with a left-right combination. Good ground and pound solid defense against the submission expert. In round number two, Yoshida trying to stay aggressive but running into some very heavy shots by Chris Lozano. He told us his boxing was his strength, good knees, good Muay Thai, and good sense of distance. You see Yoshida always at the end of his punches here on the ground, going for the roll, not quite having a tight submission game, but good ground and pound. You see it here, that right hand right on the eye. You see it from another angle, boom, beautiful job. Very heavy handed, it was the damage to that right eye that caused the stoppage of the fight in between rounds. He could not continue a TKO victory. TKO due to corner stoppage, Chris Lozano through to Bellator season number four. Then, semifinal number one of Bellator's women's 115 pound tournament, Jessica Aguilar versus Zoila Frosto. You know, interesting first round. Jessica Aguilar, known for her submission game, chose to strike with Zoila Frosto, stalking the big, powerful knockout puncher. And Aguilar having a lot of success in that first round. I gave it slightly to Zoila Frosto. She was a bit more accurate. Round number two, Aguilar more the same, walking down Frosto, this time finding a home for her punches able to evade the strikes of Frosto and always moving forward, always aggressive, ring generalship. It's an important concept in boxing, an important concept in, in MMA. The fight went where she wanted it to. I gave her that second round. Round number three, all about the striking of Jessica Aguilar. You see here landing with the right hand and the left. What she was doing was opening up the face, you can see, of Zoila Frosto. It was like that blood on her face was a bullseye, a lot of accurate strikes to the nose. Zoila Frosto ble bleeding heavily at the end of that third round. Beautiful job by Aguilar. You see here Zoila Frosto going in for a takedown of her own. Aguilar going for the guillotine, but running out of time. A beautiful third round by Jessica Aguilar. The judges, however, saw it an amazing 30-27 for Zoila Frosto, a controversial decision. She moves on to the finals. Semi-final number two of Bellator's women's 115 pound tournament, Lisa Ward versus Megumi Fuji. If only I knew how to say dominant in Japanese because that's what that was what Fuji E was. Good on the feet, but on the ground, she showed why she's the number one pound for pound female fighter in the world. This takedown, beautiful transition to the mount and once she was on top Lisa Ward found herself in all kinds of trouble this beautiful step over armbar so tight Lisa Ward no choice but to tap we see it again textbook armbar Lisa Ward loses again via armbar to Megumi Fujii who finds herself not surprisingly in the final and finally, a Bellator feature fight in the heavyweight division, Mark Holada versus Sean Jordan. And it was all about the right hand of Holada right on the jaw of Sean Jordan and his night in the first round. A powerful debut by a powerful heavyweight. Excellent job.